Hey guys, Eric here from WorshipBandUniversity.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a vocal cue track in Ableton Live. Now the first thing we actually need to do is go to a web browser and we need to go to this website up here, loopcommunity.com and we're going to go to the training section and we're going to look for the video that says installing LC vocal cues. Now loopcommunity.com is uh, pretty much the best website to go to if you're going to get any uh, backing tracks or loops or anything else. Um, they're really organized well, they're really high quality. Um, there's a lot of training videos that they have. You can get some one-on-one -on -one training. Um, they have uh, a place where you can order the loop to miss. You can get stuff for your iPad. Just fantastic stuff here. Uh, plus Matt McCoy is a really cool guy um, too, so you can uh, kind of take some lessons with him as well. Um, but again, go to loopcommunity.com, and what we're going to do is watch this video and how to install the vocal cues. Now, basically, what Loop Community did was they made a drum rack that has all vocal cues that'll tell us the verse, the chorus, counts, everything else that we really need to make a vocal cue track. So, first, watch this video, and then come back to this video and watch the rest so we can show you how to do it. So, what we're going to do is go into our user library, presets instruments and drum rack and you'll see our LCQ pack is installed right here. So I double clicked on that and I opened up a new scene. Now what I'm going to do is basically right before the first part or before each part of the song I'm going to highlight one measure here and right click it and put insert MIDI clip. What that did was it basically put a little box here that I'm going to fill in. So I'm going to double click on that. And down the bottom you can see that it opens up our drum rack which has all these different sayings here and counts and even clicks um, that we can uh, put in here so that we can make our vocal cue track. So what I'm going to do first is turn on little headphones so that I can hear it every time I click on one of these and you'll hear that in a second. I also want to go here to the right to the draw mode switch and turn that on so that my little pencil comes up so I can write these in. Now basically again I put a uh, MIDI track over here right before the intro. So what I'm going to want to do is click on intro, intro, go to the second measure over here, and I'm going to put the rest of my count in. Two, Two. Three, three, and four. four. So basically when it says intro that's my one count um, and it basically will take me into the song. So if I play it from the beginning here's what it will sound like. Intro. Two. So again, really cool. Um, what that's going to do again is uh, tell the band when to come in or when to play certain things. Uh, on this next part over here, I made a little section called Build. So again, highlighting it, right-clicking, insert MIDI clip. And then over here, I'm going to do something, um, again, that will tell the band to come in. Now, there's a bunch of different sayings that they have. Um, you know, maybe I'll say, you know, guitar because that cool guitar riff's coming in. Maybe I'll say all in because the whole band is coming in. Maybe I'll say drums because the drums are really strong there. Again, really anything you want, you can put in there. Uh, I'm going to call it all in, all in since the whole band jumps in that spot. And then again, that's going to be my one. Then I'm going to add in my two, two three, three, and four. four. So that'll tell the rest of the band one to come in. Now again, I'm going to do that to the rest of the song that I've mapped that already. In verse, highlight over here right before it, right click, insert MIDI clip, and then again, I'm going to put in and find my verse, verse. Two, two, three, three, and four. four. Now, let's say you make a mistake, and instead of putting four there, I put like three in there or three. something. All I have to do is to take things out, is to click on the box again. So again, it's on three, so I'm going to click on it, go up to four, four. and insert it in the right spot. So it's really easy to actually use this, um, and again, create anything you want. Be creative with it. Um, look throughout your song and whatever you mapped out. Um, if there's a spot maybe where you know the worship leader is going to say something, or maybe they're singing a cappella, or maybe there's a guitar solo, or really anything you want to do to let your band know something is coming up, you can put it in there. Uh, get as creative as you want. Um, you don't want to put too, too much stuff in, otherwise it's going to be distracting. Um, you also maybe want to be a little bit creative where you put these too, because you don't really want to overlap maybe where you're singing or something so you can hear what's going on. Sometimes you have to, but um, again, get a little creative and, and try this out with a few songs to kind of see uh, the best way that it works for you and your worship team. So have some fun with this. Do this with a couple songs, and we'll see you guys in the next video.